G'day Westy here, we're going to do a blade tracking exercise to get accuracy with your blade tracking between both blades okay first thing you need to do, I, learned this, I actually uh, read about this on the net um, a guy there was talking about this method I never saw any photos or anything so I thought I'd give you guys the um, heads up on my interpretation of it um, I think it's a great system and um, I've made a couple of modifications myself to um, get it accurate and we'll see how we go. Right, first things first. Flat flat surface, if it's level, even better. If not, we're gonna work off the level of the helicopter and not the face of the of the deck deck height. So level your helicopter. So what that means is like um, set something up at the end there and then I'll be on this face here, we're gonna be running our gauge. And you can see that's level there, okay? So once that's level, we want to also check the level of this. Of it. I'm actually going to use my verniers, which I've already preset. So we can get a uniform height of this shaft at level. I'm going to put this on here, get it level, and then I'll drop my gauge down to the outside of this um, silver piece here, and... Um, And drop it down until it's level see so what what happens then is that whenever I want to get that reference point I just put my gauge in and that's it perfect okay so that's your gauge so lock it up um, doesn't matter about the height because you might guys might be a mill or two different in the center of the swash so first but before we do that turn your transmitter on um, we're going to set our pitch curve in our, on our hold, in our hold position, if you haven't got a hold, uh, do it on um, your normal curve. Set it to 50% on each each position. So what that'll do is no matter what your stick movement is, it will keep this exactly at neutral. So centre of um, your swash plate. So that'll be the centre of your pitch, pitch curves throughout your range of um, settings. You know, normal, normal, idle up, idle to, whatever. Okay. And the reason for that is basically so that if you move this by mistake, it doesn't change the setting. So we'll initialize the transmitter, the receiver, sorry. We'll let that centralize. Okay, that's all done. So if you move this, you've got no movement in the swash at all, all right? Okay, so we'll put that aside, so that's that done. Okay, so now we'll double check our setting here. We've definitely got level on this on this here because we checked that. Remember, just here. We'll move this around a little bit so we can get it on there. Okay, we've got a good level there. Yep. Move this to level. Remember, we'll set that on there. Move that to level because your helicopter's level, so this will be level as well because we've used the same gauge, obviously. And then I've set my reference point here. So I should be able to push this down. And actually set this down and lift it up to it. And it will be... Level. So test it. Just bring it up to it. That's level there. So I can now always use this position on the bar to this point and it will be perfect every time. Okay, so we'll leave that at that. Okay, we're going to need a couple of things here. Um, if you've got, this is a T-Rex 600. If you've got a T-Rex 600, what I use and, and have tried and tested is a couple of things I've used. But what I want to do is give you guys some cheap um, solutions, right? Use a 450 T-Rex 450 feathering shaft with a canopy um, grommet, a T-Rex 450 fly bar. Screw the two together, and you've got yourself a gauge. Okay. Now this um, 450 f uh, feathering shaft fits perfectly in through the holes on the uh, blade grip of the 600. 
If you've got a 450, <coughs> what, what, I, what I use is a 500 fly bar. Fits perfectly, a straight one, make sure you've got a straight one. Fits perfectly through the blade grips on both the 500, like so. And the 450, and it's good a good fit in there. Okay, so or you can use a 2.5 mil, 2.5 mil um, uh, swash tool, uh, you know, hex tool for um, like the you know, line one or tourniquet or whatever you're using. All right, now that. Um, that's not quite long enough for what I do for accuracy, so um, yeah, so find something that'll fit in that hole, uh, 25 millimeter. that's quite long, that'll get you to the bottom of this shaft here, of the main shaft, because we're going to use this main shaft as reference points. Okay, so what we're going to do now, is we set the level, we, we've, we've got a reference point now for this, I've set my height and locked it, so we'll just move that, pull it back to there, and set it up. And that's level okay so carefully move that away and now what we're going to do is have a look in here and see where it is on the setup okay another thing you can do is actually put the level on here but that moves around too much, you need a little one to do that, but it's not quite as accurate as what I'm doing here because you can actually see the difference. Alright, so we'll just set this height again. And then we're going to move from right, right to left and look. we're going to be looking, and I'll use my little pointer here, we're going to be looking right in here against the shaft face and then right down here against this shaft face and compare the inside of this to the inside of this and see whether they actually line up at exactly the same time as we move across. If they don't, this needs adjusting one way or the other. Alright, so, well let's have a look at it. So we'll just move from the right slowly to the left and this camera will be a bit out because my eye is a bit to the right of the camera and that's actually out that's actually out if you have a look down the bottom that's actually out about two millimeters okay all right so that's pretty accurate so that's quite a lot out isn't it so to get that out, basically that's facing back, back that way a fraction, 2 millimeters. So we need to lengthen this shaft here, 2 millimeters roughly. Well, actually probably less than that to get it to come straight. Alright, so I'm going to take this off and I'm going to lengthen this a turn. Or maybe two turns and see, see I'll, I'll do one turn and see how, see how it goes.